Suddenly, it is one of the hottest topics in the country, the practice of polygamy and the pursuit of polygamous leader Warren Jeffs. But Mike Watkins is here to show us why Warren Jeffs may soon be forced to share the unflattering spotlight. Mike? Yeah, right you are, Patty. Fugitive polygamous leader Warren Jeffs now in the white-hot spotlight, ever since being profiled by the hit TV show America's Most Wanted last weekend. Now the crime-busting program turning its cameras on another guy well known to three TV viewers, a man by the name of Orson William Black. The information I have is that he's sort of a pedophile, and uh, this is what he does, this is what he's into, and uh, clearly we want that to stop. U.S. Marshal Dennis Harkins today setting his sights on this guy, 45-year-old Orson William Black. This guy... <laughs> He's, he's so scary and evil. At the age of 17, Tamara Phelps was given to a 27-year-old Orson William Black as a third wife, a marriage arranged by Rulon Jeffs, the father of now-wanted fugitive polygamous prophet Warren Jeffs, a marriage that Tamara says was abusive from the beginning. He took me at a very young age and raped me and brainwashed me and beat me. Who is this guy, William Black? He's a religious fanatic. He's a child molester. He's a polygamist. Activist Penny Peterson active in this case. Two of Penny's younger sisters were taken by Orson William Black as young plural brides and then allegedly impregnated by the time they were 15. Because of Penny, Black now faces criminal charges in both cases. He's a rapist. He's a child molester. He likes to prey on, on uh, 12, 13, 14 year old girls. If they were any older, he, he knows he couldn't get them, so that's what he preys on. Our history with Orson William Black dates back to the spring of 2003. We were with a SWAT team as it surrounded Black's home near the Utah Arizona border one night, but then cops, fearing for the safety of children inside, decided to back off. Orson William Black used the opportunity to escape. But then a couple of months later, we tracked him down deep inside the Mexican state of Chihuahua, where I had an odd encounter with a wanted man, literally bumping into him inside a small market. Black again fled, straight out the back door, and disappeared over a wall. Is Mr. Black a key? Si. He's living aquí vive. here. Aquí vive. He lives here. He lives here with two, maybe three wives. One is younger than 13 years old. We're actively looking for him. Indeed, U.S. Marshals now upping the ante on Orson William Black, actively assisting the hit TV show America's Most Wanted with a profile of Black being rushed to broadcast this Saturday night. The more people that know him uh, and have seen him, the more tips we're going to get, and we can put these tips together and hopefully come up with an arrest. Now, Patty, we should tell you that Orson William Black is no longer a follower of uh, Warren Jeffs. He broke away and apparently is his own prophet, in his own mind at least, has his own little following. We're told that a big reward will also be announced when that show broadcasts Saturday night. That poor woman, Tamara, just looks haunted by her She She reflects that women don't get out of that without a lot of scars, and mm. she's been through a lot. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike.